Hi everyone and welcome back to the second of my 21 wildlife walks. Today I'm here at the wonderful Martin Down Nature Reserve in Hampshire. This is 350 hectares of unspoilt chalk downland which is great for orchids, many species of butterfly and farmland birds. So we've just walked onto the site here and we've seen lots of really cool butterflies like a grizzled skipper, small copper and small heath. And now we're just standing and having a look at the amazing variety of orchids here. The soil here is really good for orchids because it's been unfertilised and unploughed for many years which means it's really good for these amazing species. And on today's video, I'm joined by my good friend. So yeah, hello, I'm Samuel Levy. And today we're here at Martin Down and we're here with quite an intriguing orchid, which is a greater butterfly orchid. that we've been having an argument for a little while now. And I'm not too convinced it looks like a butterfly. No, I'm not sure. We're saying it looks more like a mayfly. Um, yeah, I'm not completely sure about it being called a butterfly orchid, but it is quite striking as it's white and a lot of the other orchids here are pink and purple and we have one of these examples here. A bit like this fragrant orchid as well, which is quite a cool little fella. Um, some of them are a bit bigger around this as well. So thanks to local farmers taking part in environmentally friendly farming, this place is home to some wonderful hedgerows and beautiful grasslands. And this is why it's so good for different species of farmland birds. And farmland birds are a family which are really struggling at the moment and have been for the last 40 or so years due to many reasons like changing farming methods and pesticide use. So today I've actually seen a lifer for me, which is the corn bunting. And this is a particular farmland bird, which can only really be found around this area. So Dorset, Wiltshire, and areas where there is environmentally friendly farming in place. This species has declined by a shocking 83% since 1967, with reduced seed and insect abundance being a major factor. Although, agri-environment schemes like the one we've seen today can reverse these declines. So we've just walked in around the middle of the reserve and we're surrounded by the beautiful song of the Skylark. And the Skylark, which I'm sure many of you will know, is a bird that's in serious trouble. So. I mean, to be honest, it's quite incredible standing here with all the skylarks around us, but they are in decline. And the reason for it is due to, mostly due to a, a mixture of um, intensification of farming and agriculture and a loss of habitat through that, but also through the decline of, or the general decline in insects as well and the loss of their food. Um, but I don't know about you, but I think skylarks, when you hear them singing, they kind of feel a bit like the happy song. It, that, that, that song just feels really happy. And Very it, joyful, isn't it? Exactly, and it kind of feels like the sound of spring when they first appear. Yeah, it's lovely walking around here and just hearing them all around you. And there's also been some other farmland birds, uh, as well as the corn bunting. We've heard lots of yellow hammer, which are a classic farmland bird. And um, we've also had some linnets, uh, so lots of wildlife to see here. We've also had some not so classic farmland birds like tree pipits as well. That's true, we've had tree pipits singing and do its parachuting display, which was quite amazing to see. So that's the end of my second 21 wildlife walks today here at the beautiful Martin Down Nature Reserve. It's been a great day full of some new wildlife sightings for me, including the small blue butterfly, 
the greater butterfly orchid and of course the corn bunting. Thank you to Sam for joining me and the last question I just wanted to ask you was what does BTO mean to you? Um, so the BTO in terms of uh, what it means to me, I, I've been volunteering for the BTO since I was about 14. Um, it's been a huge part of my life doing uh, surveys for the BTO such as bird ringing, uh, the BBS survey and things like that and now being able to be a part of the youth advisory panel and being uh, for the last three years and being able to uh, sort of help with youth engagement something that I feel quite passionate, mm -hmm. passionate about um, yeah it's, it's, it's uh, been a really big part of my life and I'm looking forward to spending more time uh, volunteering with them in the future Brilliant, thank you for joining me today Sam Yeah, no worries and thank you for all watching and thank you to Leica Spot Optics for sponsoring this video and I hope you can catch me on the next one.